What are you doing? Yeah. Should we get you dressed? No. So this little lady has got up and decided to come and join us, haven't you? Say hi. Hi. So Indy's up. Her uh, big concern first thing in the morning is breakfast. So Emily's in bed with Parker. She's awake, but he's still asleep. Um, he's been in his cot now for the past couple of nights. First night did not do well, which was my night. And then last night he did a lot better until about quarter past four when he wanted to feed in. So yeah, I'm just gonna sort Indy out some breakfast now. Good morning, Baga. Do you okay? You are, you bit snotty. Yeah. Oh. Should we go find your sister? You do want to? Yeah. Papa. Good morning, Baga. Are you going to give him a kiss? What are you doing? Yeah. Should we get you dressed? No. No. Yeah, what are you doing? Bye. So I'm talking down to her. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my job and all, but I hate doing it late. It's the worst part. I mean, I start at nine. I don't really spend much of the morning with the kids because I'm getting ready for work. And then by the time I get home from work, it's about half an hour before they go to bed. Uh, most of the time I will get in, probably eat, feed Parker, and then while I'm feeding Parker, Indy will go to sleep. So I don't really get a lot of time with them. And now Indy's obviously getting that much older, she's too soon, in a couple of days. It makes it harder, because she now understands when I've got my work shirt on that I'm going to work. Like it's not too bad some days, because where I work in a nursery, she comes to work with me. And where she's getting older, She's moving up into the room that I work in. So like yesterday, she was in there with me, which is kind of nice to see, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting to see how it's gonna work out. Just got back from work. Um, the house is really quiet, because obviously we are off to Emily's mum's. So right now, like on a normal day, I'd come home, probably quickly eat something, reheat it in the microwave, and then probably feed Parker and Emily would put Indy to bed, which would obviously be kind of sucky because it's 25 past 6, so I left for work about 10 to 9, I've only just got home. Bear in mind I only walked home from work because it's a 5 minute walk. So that kind of helps. Where I used to work is quite far away, so it's about a half hour drive, so that's not as bad because I used to hate coming home and then just putting Indy straight to bed. So now I get a little bit more time, but not as much as I'd like because it's hard to come home. Just put them straight to bed, not get a lot of quality time with them in the morning. That's what makes weekends so important. But on days like today, we're quite lucky because we're going to Emily's mum's for dinner. Well, they've probably already eaten, so it'd just be me turning up and eating all by myself. But it'd be nice because Emily doesn't have the stress of sorting dinner out and I don't feel bad that she's done all that, as well as look after the kids. Just because I've been at work all day. So it's kind of nice that we don't have to then come home and wash up. We'll just come home, put the kids to bed, and then we can chill out. So it kind of makes things a little bit easier for us and they stay up a bit later because where we're out so I get a bit more time with them. So let's go. So this is literally just a black box but it's got our um, wedding album in it which I'm under strict instructions to take to Emily's mum's. Which I knew I'd end up having to take with me anyway. But it was really cool when we got it yesterday. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Holly, we've been through this. It's Jack. Hello. This is my nephew, by the way. There was there was a cloud last night. Oh, no. The whole day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good We've just 
back from Emily's mum's. Well, we got back about 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Kids are in bed. Parker's been a monkey, but hopefully he goes to sleep. I've just jumped in the shower. So yeah, it's kind of nice to spend a bit more time with them tonight than I normally would, because obviously where we were at Emily's mum's, even though Indy wasn't even bothered, she just tried to eat my food and then ran away. But yeah, so then I got we got back, obviously you saw me feeding Parker, so they're in bed, but no, we're just going to sit, catch up on last night's Walking Dead, really. So yeah, it's quite nice that the kids go to bed at sort of seven-ish, and then we get a bit of an evening together. I know I don't really see them much, like when I do my lates and stuff, which is always pretty difficult, but... It's kind of nice to have a bit of time, just the two of us. I'm actually going to the cinema tomorrow. I'm so excited. Woo, Hunger Games. So, I've just topped Parker up with a cheeky dream feed. So hopefully this will keep him going for most of the night. And you'll up too early for his bottle. So it could be anywhere between half four and like half six, depending on what mood he's in. Hopefully, he'll let me sleep in. So yeah, I'm just gonna go get in bed now.